Hello, my crafty friends. Well, today I have three fun fold card ideas to share with you. And the best part about these fun folds is that they all have the exact same measurements for creating them. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I have three different fun fold card ideas that I want to share with you, and they all use the exact same template. So the only difference is how I decorated them or how I kind of played around with that fun fold section. Now the cards in this video feature the Splendid Thoughts stamp set from Stampin' Up! And I also used a variety of the Splendid Stems dies to do some decorating on my cards. So this is what the fun fold looks like. It's just a very simple, basic fun fold. We're gonna create this little one inch section here. And then I'm gonna show you how to kind of play around with that little one inch section to create two additional cards. All right, let's get started. Okay, so this is the fun fold. This is the basic design that we're going to use. So I'm gonna show you how to create this card and then after we create this card, I'll show you how you can use this fun fold design to create two additional cards, which are very different from this one. So the first thing you need is a piece of cardstock, which measures five and a half by eight and a half inches. And then you're gonna score this cardstock piece at one inch, and then again at four and a quarter inches. So this will be the base of our fun fold card. So when you score on that four and a quarter inch line, that just creates your standard card base. But that little extra score line, this little one inch score line, is the part where we're going to create the fun fold section. So this one we're just going to fold back on top of itself so that we create this little flap on the front of our card. So this is the basic design for the fun fold. Okay, so now that we have the card base created, I'm gonna show you how I did the decorating on this particular card. But again, you can decorate your card with any supplies that you have on hand. So I am using some of the Splendid Day Designer Series papers. So this is just a three by five and a half inch piece of designer paper. So I just put this kind of centered right on the front part of my card here. So it's right underneath this little flap. Then I cut a three quarter by five and a half inch piece of just a different pattern paper. And this one I'm adhering right down the center of this little flap here. So I cut it a little bit shorter than that one inch flap. So it's three quarter inches wide, um, just so that I could have a little bit of that white kind of peeking through behind this piece of designer paper. So then let's open up the card. So then I'm gonna use the same paper I used on the front of the card and it's the exact same size. So it's three by five and a half inches. And I'm just going to adhere this over on this left side, this little section of the inside of the card. And the next thing I did is just cut a one and a half by five and a half inch piece of white cardstock, and I just embossed it with the quatrefoil tile embossing folder. And then this piece is gonna go on the right side of the inside of the card. So what you will notice is when we close the card, you'll be able to see that beautiful embossing here on the front of the card when the card is closed. So now we are ready to add our little focal point for this card. So I started with a rectangular shape that I created actually with the stitched rectangles dies. Um, but if you don't have those dies, you can just cut a rectangular shape from a piece of white cardstock. So this is about two and a quarter inches by three and a half inches. So the next thing I did is just cut a variety of different die cut shapes using the Splendid Thoughts bundle. So this is just one of the die cut shapes from that particular bundle. And this one I stamped using Pool Party ink. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my stamping blends to just color this in. So I'm just using the light shade of Pool Party just to color this in. It just kind of draws out um, the design a little bit better. And you guys know how much I love my stamping blends. <laughs> 
So it's a big enough design that it's pretty easy to color in. All right, so that's the light shade of the Pool Party Stampin' Blends. And then I'm gonna use the darker shade. And I'm gonna use the ballpoint pen section just to kind of add some color right here to these parts of the leaf, the smaller parts of the leaf. So it just gives it a nice little two-tone look and it was pretty simple to do. So now we can create our focal point. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just add some glue to this very detailed leaf. And I'm gonna add this kind of off to the side a little bit. Okay, so I just have some dimensionals on the back of this one that we colored. And I'm just going to add this kind of off to the side. So it kind of goes off to the right side a little bit. And this will help hold that very detailed piece in place. Then I used one of the greetings from this particular stamp set. And this little kind of half circle shape is one of the dies from the Splendid Thoughts uh, bundle. So I just stamped this using Sahara Sand ink and then just cut it out with the, the die that's in the set. And I'm just gonna tuck this right under that leaf and put that on there. So that's really the focal point. And then I just added some of these little heart pearls. All right, so that's what our focal point looks like. And then we can just go ahead and adhere this to our card. So I'm just gonna add some glue right down the center of this piece because we're only going to adhere it to this little flap. And then we'll just stick this on and we'll give it a chance to set up. So I like using the liquid glue because I can scoot this around and kind of get it centered where I wanted it. All right. So that's it. That's how easy it is to create this fun fold design. So the second way that you can use this fun fold in your card making is just to adhere that flap directly down to the card and just leave this be your fun fold. So let me show you what I mean. So you use the exact same card base that we used for the first card. And this little flap here, what I did is I just adhered this down to my card front. So instead of having it be free floating, you adhere it down. And it just gives a little different look to the card. So you can see I have it adhered here with a little embossed piece of cardstock. So it's still a fun fold card. It's just a different way to use this design. Okay, and then the third card idea is actually a gift card holder. So here is that little one inch flap. I just adhered it um, on the inside of the card, just on the edges here, I adhered it so that I had a space here that I could slide in a gift card. And then of course you have your space over here for writing a message or stamping a message. So this is another fun way to use this design. So let me show you, this is our basic design. So instead of having the flap on the front of the card, you simply turn it around and fold it towards the inside of the card. And I just used a little one inch circle punch just to kind of create that little notch on the inside of the card. But you're basically just going to adhere the ends of this piece here so that you have this open in the middle to slide a little gift card in there. So again, it's the exact same design, it's just a different way to use it. Okay, so there you go. Now you have a fun fold card idea that you can use three different ways in your card making. And if you enjoyed these card ideas, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the cards shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.